So when customers come in, if a, a customer hasn't been in the store before, sometimes they will say, I need some thread. And, you know, we kind of point them in the direction of our thread area. And it can be a little bit confusing over here. So never hesitate to ask questions, but I'm going to try to go over just some basic concepts here about the types of thread that we carry. First of all, this display is our new display of Mettler Metrocene. Um, this is a polyester thread. We have we have carried it. We just didn't have all of the colors. Our display was smaller, and sometimes people would be looking for a, a color matching a fabric, and the color just didn't seem to be there. So now we have available all of the colors that this uh, Mettler. I uh, believe this is 50 weight thread, right? It is. Sissy, 50 it is. weight thread. All of the colors that it comes in. And then this 321. Dis <laughs> this display here is the same thread, but in larger spools. So we don't have every color in the larger spools. They don't even actually come in larger spools, all of them. But we do have a bigger selection available to you in larger spools. And then the very largest spools of Metrocene are the ones here on this rack. And we have those in some basic colors, uh, white, off-white, navy, gray, red, and usually we have black. We're out of black right now. So that is Metrocene polyester. It is used for general sewing. So if you're making adult garments, bags, maybe play clothes uh, for kids, you're going to want to use the, the Metrocene polyester thread. It's good quality thread, so it will work well in the tensioning system of your machine. And it's strong, so it will hold up to wear and tear and laundering and so forth. So that's Mettler Metrocene for general all-purpose sewing. The next big display here is RFL 50 weight, 100% cotton thread. Aurafil makes one wonderful thread. They're an Italian company. They make very high quality thread. Cotton thread is always going to make more lint than polyester thread, but Aurafil is about as minimal as you can get when it comes to creating lint. So this is Aurafil 50 weight, which is wonderful for piecing and quilting, um, and it comes in a, a nice variety of colors. We also have available these large spools here of Aurafil in neutral shades. When you are piecing a quilt, you're typically using a variety of colors of fabrics, and so ideally you want to just pick a color that's a neutral that will blend nicely with all of the fabric colors that you're using. Because Aurafil 50 weight is a fine thread, it melds into your fabric and your stitching is it becomes minimally visible. So choose a neutral color and you can use it for all of your piecing. And as I said, it can also be used for machine quilting. I'm gonna ask Stacy to turn around because we do have one more Aurafil display here. This is Aurafil 80 weight thread. When it comes to thread, the higher the number, the finer the thread. So 80 weight is significantly finer than the Aurafil 50 weight. This is used for a variety of purposes, including hand applique. It's wonderful for needle turn applique, um, but it can also be used for a lot of other uh, uh, projects and uses in, including English paper piecing. So I would recommend to you that um, you might want to visit the Aurafil website. There is a product guide on their website. I'm going to try to post a link to it actually after we get finished with this video, but it's a nice product guide. You may have one if you came to our Aurafil uh, ambassador event that we had back in 2019, but it's a very nice guide. It, it tells you a lot about how to use each of the types of thread that Aurafil makes, and, um, and it's very, very helpful. So 
that's Aurifil 80 weight. If we move on around, these um, tall skinny displays here are Sulky 30 weight. We have this in solids and in these variegated uh, spools that are called blendables. This is 30 weight cotton thread. So 30 weight, again, that's a lower number, so it is a heavier weight thread. If you are doing machine quilting and you want your stitches to show more, be more prominent, uh, the 30 weight thread is helpful in that situation. Again, it is 100% it is cotton. It is going to create lint. You will need to brush out your machine after you finish using this thread. We have machine embroidery bobbin thread here, our favorite brand being the bottom line. We carry that in basic colors. And then our most commonly used machine embroidery thread is the Robison Anton Super Bright Polyester, which is uh, available in a large selection of colors. It is a 40 weight polyester thread that is, in, is really intended for machine embroidery. I would not use this to construct a garment or a bag, something like that, because it's probably not going to be strong enough to uh, withstand uh, stress and, and use. We have Guterman hand quilting thread. This is a waxed thread that is used for hand quilting. It's also great for stitching your bindings down by hand. You do not want to use this on your machine because it is waxed and it will mess up your tension. Uh, Karen would want me to emphasize that. Do not use this on your machine. Then we have a couple of displays here of maxi lock thread. These are actually maxi lock stretch thread that are useful when you are sewing on knits, either on your sewing machine or your serger. We have another one of these displays on order that will be regular maxi lock serger thread. We have a limited number of colors in that right now, but the, the uh, regular serger thread display of color selection is on order and we're hoping it will be here soon. So uh, we will have a better option of, um, more complete option of serger thread for you. This is Signature Machine Quilting Thread. It is a 40 weight cotton thread that is often used by long arm quilters and it is available in this selection of colors including some variegated shades. And then the final, um, the final type of thread that I wanted to mention is the DMC 50 weight cotton. This can be used for machine embroidery if you're doing a design where you don't want the shiny look of polyester, you want a more heirloom or vintage type look. Uh, this is actually, if you look at the spool, it actually says machine embroidery thread on the end of the spool. But we also use this in our heirloom sewing projects. If you are doing an heirloom garment, cotton fabric, some cotton laces, you want to use a fine cotton thread, and our the DMC 50 weight is, is what we generally recommend for that. You could use Aurifil as well, uh, but DMC is kind of the classic favorite for that purpose. That's pretty much all of our, of our machine sewing thread options. We do have silk thread here, which can be used on the machine, but is often used for hand applique. And then, of course, our other hand sewing thread options, the DMC floss, and we have um, pearl cotton in both DMC and in Valdani in some size 8 and size 12. So there are a lot of thread options in the world. This is certainly not nearly all of them, but it's all of them that we have room for at this point. And we're happy to answer any questions that you have about thread and help you select the product that's most helpful for you. Thank you for tuning in.